train valley. Is it worth a buy? Build railways, manage traffic and stay accident free. Play in Europe, America, Japan and the USSR in 1830 to 2020. Complete the story mode from the gold rush of 1849 to the first manned space flight and then explore the random mode. Management, construction, trains, welcome to Train Valley. Yes guys, it's uh 2017 and I'm reviewing a game that came out in 2015 and that's because there's pretty much nothing else out at the minute um, you've probably noticed nobody else is reviewing anything at the minute either there's not a lot going on in the gaming industry it's kind of all quiet on the western front um, now this little game has been around a while like I say but I missed it I somehow missed this and I got it gifted over the Christmas uh, period by River thank you and I started playing it yesterday and boy what a great game this is it's a tiny little indie game that's kind of snuck in but it's it's really really good and I want to bring your attention to it because I think a lot of you might like this um, first things first the description is wank this is a puzzle game and it doesn't really say that anywhere in the description but this is a total puzzle game it's not like a train management building game or anything like that which it kind of sounds like it is so basically what you do in this game in a nutshell there's different ways of playing it there's um like a, a sandbox mode where there's no timers and, and stuff like that there's the story mode which has real life events like it said the gold rush world war ii the cold war and all of that in and there's random mode which uh, the, the level looks and develops differently every time you launch so you know it's, it's not the same and there's 15 types of trains early steam trains to modern high speed trains uh, there's different types of cars and there's military tanks and gun platforms there's all kinds of stuff representing the time of well whenever the, the time period is so how do you play the game well this is the brilliant thing about it what happens with this game you'll start off with two stations generally and one might be yellow one might be green and a train will spawn in one of them two stations and it will have a color on the uh, top of the train and that means that's the colored station that train has to get to so you have to build a track to that station easy until another station pops up that's another different color and then another train will pop up and say i need to go to orange and you think all right that's fine i'll build a track to orange and then another station pops up and then another train starts coming and then another train says i want to go to red uh, and i want to go to yellow uh, i want to go to purple i want to go to orange i want to go to yellow i want to go to yellow too and then you've got track everywhere and then you've got big big problems because you have to make switches you have to keep every train going and the reason you have to keep every train going is because if you look at the top you will notice you have a monetary value on the top left you are getting taxed all the time your money is going down all the time now the trains are your income if you get a train into the station you get paid and you get paid the amount of money that train has above its name as it enters the station now that goes down over time as well so you have got to get your trains to the station before it runs out of money to make it financially viable to even run the thing so you can't just leave trains in the station forever while you build track you've got to get them out there so that puts pressure on and as more trains spawn that's more and more pressure you might run out of money building track because to build the track it is cheap just laying the rails but if you have to get through an obstacle bulldozers have to be called in to demolish certain things and that costs a lot a lot of money so you have to hope you can get enough money with the other trains to, to enable that and it gets it's very frantic thankfully you can pause the game to do uh, head scratching arse scratching and having a look at where you need to build track but i've found that it's way more fun not using that i mean i do use it um, as you'll probably see in during the footage of this i do use it in an emergency but i do like to just keep it all running and i would like a mode where that isn't there because if it's there i'll use it and it's no use saying well just don't use it well no you know it's like trying to stop smoking you know you still you still buy them the next day don't you you know the amount of times that i've scrunched up a box of cigarettes before i've gone to bed there'd be like six left in it right that is me taking the power back i am not smoking anymore and you crunch them up and you feel good and you think yeah and you grind them to dust and throw them in the trash bin and you go to bed and you're like yeah i do not smoke anymore i'm free 
you know, then you wake up the next day and you think, yeah, yeah, I don't have any cigarettes, I'm good, I'm fine. And then you have a drink of coffee and then it's like, oh, I need fag, I need a cigarette. And you just run down the shop. <sighs> so, you know, if you can get them, you'll use them. That's the problem. And I stopped smoking, so just so you know, I don't smoke anymore. Disgusting, filthy, horrible habit. Yeah. Hey, top tip, guys. Uh, you want to stop smoking? Uh, easy way, easy. Forget all these stupid cigarettes that you... I've seen these f***ing cigarettes that people are smoking. They look like they're smoking a pen. It's like they're walking around like dickheads with these pens sticking out the mouths with lights on. I mean, what the f***'s that all about? Bloody hell, man. Go some bollocks and just f***ing stop, you know, smoking pens and all that shit. He's... An easy way, the worth of buy way to stop smoking. Hey, it's a, actually, this is a very good time because everybody's doing New Year's resolutions. Here you go. I smoked. I smoked for freaking 16 years. Regret every second of it. All you do, go on to a sweet shop site and buy a jar of hard-boiled sweet lollies. And what you do next is you crumble up your cigarettes before you go to bed in the bin. Make sure you can't rebuild them. And then the next day, when you want a cigarette, just or get the patches as well, the nicotine patches. They help take a little bit of the edge off. Get get a patch on, get a nicotine patch on, and then whenever you want a cigarette, get a lolly. Suck the lolly. It's the hand to mouth action that you miss. It's the habitual hand to mouth action that you need to get back, and that stopped me smoking. It was them put on two stone, and I went through loads of jars of lollies. But it's better than you know all the shit that you get through smoking so there you go guys top tip for new year if you want to stop smoking you need a lot of willpower it's still not easy you'll be crawling up the walls and you'll be screaming and bawling and it's hard but grow a pair and stop because smoking is horrible you will regret it when you get older don't do drugs either it's bad don't drink too much it's bad Fuck you drugs too much on new year yeah i know i did but you know that's yeah once a year um what else should you not do um don't go to old megs on a wednesday evening that's my slot so th this game is fun it's hectic puzzle game that's what it is but it is so addictive it is so much fun it is so rewarding as well and there's goals that you have to do on each time you play and um, which i've never really done and what the, the big goal is that you have to do is you have to run a certain number of additional trains the computer will spawn so many trains for the level but by pressing a key you can spawn an additional train and i've never been good enough to really do that i mean the, the last level i played you had to spawn 10 additional trains i found it just hard enough juggling the trains the computer puts out spawning another 10 on top of that was just a train too far but i'm loving the game i haven't completed it yet i'm i'm almost into russia now and ah, it's so much fun it's only 6.99 so you know for that price you can't really go wrong you really can't go wrong uh, so there you go guys train valley is an oldie but goodie stop ringing the bell